Hey everyone, it's Jamie, and welcome to the first analysis video um, for our Project 1 in BA322, Business Analytics. As you can see, I have two things open. I'm running a split screen. And the first thing that I have open is the video tutorials for Project 1. We've gotten through Part 1, Scraping the Data, where you've scraped the data from Zappos.com. Here's a video link if you're not sure how to do that, right? And then getting the data from the scraper into Excel. We got through that. And then we've got through three parts that's cleaning the data, getting it ready to go from its raw state that you can see here in my Excel file that's open to its cleaned state, which you can see here I have in tab two. I'm assuming if you're in this video here, A1 pivot tables, that's the video that we're currently in, that you've completed the three cleaning videos and the three steps. So the part one, the part two, and the part three. If you haven't done all three of those, including to the spot where you've kept only the ones, then you want to go back and make sure you've gotten through all of these. My men's running shoe data set contains 150 variables. I think for the women's data set, you'll end up with about 150. I'm sorry, those aren't variables, those are observations. Okay, so if that's, if we're ready to move on, I'm going to start showing you how to walk through and make the five types of visualizations that we need for this project. We're going to do an activity with pivot tables, and then we're going to use pivot tables or the pivot function to make column charts. We'll do that with the pivot charts. We're going to make a series of box plots. I'm going to show you how to make something called a correlogram, which is just a series of correlation coefficients. And then we're going to make some scatter plots. So to get the full description of each of those things that we're going to do, you're going to want to be in the project description sheet. I have that open in the next tab. So here's the description, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to part three. In part three, I start off by explaining what you're going to do in the project, and then I give you a couple of just directions. I tell you how to organize your analysis. I tell you the activities, the five things I want you to do. I explain them more thoroughly. And then I describe what it is that I want you to turn in when you submit this project. Take a good look at all of those things, um, and that will help you at least know where you're going. So I want to show you how I have the data set spread uh, set up, and then I'm going to end this video and start a new video and get for, um, explicitly into dealing with the first activity. So in my first tab, I've got the raw data. In the second tab, I have my cleaned data. And then I've made tabs A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5 that I'm going to use to do each of the analyses in each of these activities. So A1 corresponds to activity one, A2 corresponds to activity two, and so on and so forth. All right, so get your spreadsheet set up and then come back and we'll start on A1, um, creating a pivot table and using some conditional formatting to make it really cool and easy to read.